Now we'll take a quick look at hacking email accounts. Email accounts need to be addressed because we use them so commonly for communication in today's environment. What we'll look at, we'll look at ways of getting email account information, we'll look at vulnerabilities in certain types of email accounts, we'll look at some of the tools, security techniques, we'll look at passwords, and the sign and seal. Because email has become such an integral part of today's communications, hacking email has become a serious threat. Email accounts are the repositories where people store their private information or even their business data. Now this itself is actually a bad idea. You have to always remind yourself that you should never say anything in an email that you're not comfortable sharing with the world unless you're using some form of encryption. Due to the widespread of use of the internet techniques and tools, the hacker can access the user ID and the email password. Three of the, the most common ways for getting the email account information involve stealing cookies, social engineering, or password phishing. With stealing cookies, one of the problems that we run into is that if the website uses a cookie or the browser contains a cookie, then every time you visit the site, the browser transfers the cookie to that site. If a user's cookie is stolen by an attacker, he or she can impersonate the user. If the data in the cookie is not encrypted, then they can simply view the cookie in order to gain your password information. With social engineering, as we've discussed, what you're going to try and do is talk to people or manipulate them into participating. Once you've, gotten, once you've gained their trust, what you can do is then attempt to find out enough information to guess their password or perhaps get them to give you the password outright. 